To do this job, these are the tools you'll need. An 8mm, you can either use a socket or a spanner. You'll also need a 4 and a 5 hex size. You can use it either with whatever you want to just using a handle, or you could use Allen keys. You need a four, size 4 and a 5 as well. And um, you'll need a cable cutters to cut the cable, to cut the cable ties, some spare cable, extra cable ties, um, wire or string to guide the cable through, a short reach Phillips crosshead screwdriver, and any small size flat screwdriver to remove the pop pins. And of course, you'll also need the cable and part. Um, and here is the part number. This is the Yamaha Nikon, and any of the Yamahas have an issue with the cruise control, which they sometimes work and they sometimes don't. So basically, I got the new switch supplied and decided that rather than drive the two hours up and two hours back that I would replace myself, but no instructions as regards to where it is or goes. It's one screw holds the switch on under here. And I've already taken it off and here it is here. Where the other end goes to seems like a bit of a mystery, but after taking the right side off, I discovered that it's actually on the left side. To do the job, what you need to remove is you need to remove the passenger seat so you can get at the two nuts to remove the main seat. This here, or loosen it off. So you need to take this piece off here so that you can remove this panel, this section here. This complete panel. And you'll also need to remove this panel under here so you can get at where the connection is. I've disconnected it here. There's a slip cable tie up here. You press down and you can loosen. Be a light in that. It's up there, you'll have to feel for it. Now what I'm gonna do to help get this, I'm going to tie some, you could use a string or what I have here is a piece of wire onto this. So when I pull it up, I can pull the other cable down following its path. In here in this hole was this special um, cable tie that plugs in, but it was very hard to get. So I actually pushed this through back out the hole here and then loosened it. So now we can get it. So I pulled it up and I pulled the cable up. So what I'll then do is I will re-pull it through and follow the cable in. So we'll see how that goes now. So I've tied the, the wire I tried it through onto the new cable. And then we can feed this through and it will follow the same path. I'm holding the camera with one hand and then to the other hand as the original cable. So we tighten this cable tie, we put a new cable tie here, and put another cable tie here to hold that cable tie onto this metal bracket so it can't shift. We retightened the cable tie, which has a little flip here to open it, to connect here, and now the wiring is done. So it's a matter of reassembling. Get it in the right position. The pin in the center that will hold it in place. There's another pin. In the front here. Just 
position first. We need another of our push fittings. That's is down here someplace. Under here. Should we put the camera down? Get in position. There it is. Put it in place. Pop the pin. And tighten this one up. And then we just start reassembling. So the very front one is a silver one. The other two are black on mine, just so you can see. And this goes here, and this is where you need your stubby screwdriver. And a bit of light on it. You need to refit the small section at the top of the tank. It's the black kind of U section and that's got two push fittings. Uh, refit the panel under the tank and then your main seat, the passenger seat um, and fit the switch. We've got to show that it's just one screw and there's a little thing that fits up into the slot and the press button goes against the lever at the bottom and that's it. That should be done.